Welcome to the True Patriot Outfitters podcast, folks. Welcome to the second season here, episode two. Our first episode was the Bassmaster Classic preview that we did with our special guest, uh, Jason Cushlin. Many thanks to him. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to get this thing kicked off here. We're going to get rolling. This is uh, season two uh, that we've got uh, ironed out here. So we think we've got a, a good stride, some good momentum going. Uh, our subscribers slowly continue to uh, to climb. We're going to keep trying to, to work to, to get that done. You folks out there in listening land um probably hold the biggest key to that you know share the podcast with people on your social media platforms let them know we're out there get the subscribes um have them go to youtube subscribe mash that mashing the like button mashing the don't like if uh, if we do an episode you don't like tell me man uh, let's get some feedback we're we're here to make this better if there's things you'd like to see us cover more um we want to be fan driven you know, what you folks, listeners are out there, what is it that you would like us to do more of uh, or something different, uh, something new? Uh, we are here and we are listening. So thank you, as always, for all your support out there. So in this edition, man, we're going to kind of cover uh, just a few things. We're going to go over, you know, what's going on in the industry right now. We're going to touch base on a lot of the stuff we got in the works, give you folks an update. As uh, as I told you before, we try to remain transparent as can be. So I think it's important that we always just try to give you updates of where we're at and where, where you might be able to help us, um, different things we have going. And then, of course, giving some good shout outs uh, to those companies out there that you need to know. Uh, the kind of good work these companies are doing in your local communities out there. I think it's important. Uh, you know, we always hear, uh, the bad stuff, right? I mean, that's what we hear the most of is when companies drop the ball. Um, as you know, I try to stay on the positive tip through and through. I don't even mention when, when companies mess up and, and play bonehead moves, we don't even mention their name, uh, from that point on just because uh, we don't want to give them any kind of uh, social media exposure when it comes to that stuff. And we try to keep things on the positive side, man. That's the, that's the whole purpose of this, right? Um, we're, we're trying to keep things on a positive tip and, uh, and make these things fun. <clears throat> so yeah, man, we're going to get through uh, all kinds of stuff like that. We'll, uh, shouldn't be a real long one. Should be, uh, should be a lot of information, good stuff. And we'll, uh, we'll try to timeline this thing out. Our first piece here on the second episode of season two is going to be fishing. Let's talk fishing. Dude, there is a lot going on right now. We have, of course, the Bassmaster Classic. Day one started today. Uh, they got off and running. Um, there is a Bass Pro Tour event taking place as well. I believe that's at Smith Lake. Um, they're off and running uh, for, I think, uh, day two of their competition. We've had some Toyota Series stuff. We've had Pro Circuit stuff going, uh, getting ready. Uh, uh, no, actually, I don't think the Pro Circuit's gone yet. There's been a lot of Toyota uh, Series stuff, and then the Pro Circuit's gearing up. They're getting ready to go again, um, coming up here soon. So, yeah, dude, there is a lot of fishing going on. At the end of this month, the, the Super Bowl for the MLF, the Red Crest, they're getting ready to kick that off. Um, so it's a, it's a, a month of big time fishing venues, classic red crest, uh, big stuff going on here. Super, super exciting to watch all these, uh, top anglers in the world going at it out there. Um, so we'll be, we'll be following along, giving you updates from there. As you may or may not know, episode one, Jason Cushion came on good buddy of ours. Uh, one of our, uh, top members of the anglers network out of North, uh, Northern, uh, uh, Minnesota up there. Um, he, uh, he follows the bass uh, series very, very close. And so we were talking and we laid down our, pre uh, predictions on who we thought was going to do better. So we each picked two anglers, um, and the lowest combined place finish for, for each one of our two anglers is, is going to be the winner between us. Uh, and the loser 
has to do some some uh, some post of shame on Facebook with uh, the the other guy's hockey team uh, being up there as it is hockey season and I figured what better to make a, a wager with a guy from Minnesota than a hockey uh, wager with him so yeah we're uh, go Avs go we're pulling for the Avalanche of course um, and uh, our our two anglers uh, we we kind of pick the low hanging fruit in all honesty these are two big household names but uh, i just really feel uh, uh strongly that that these this thing is set up really well for them. john cox and jason christie those are the two guys we picked um i think they're going to have a phenomenal uh, deal and one of them may uh, end up snatching this thing up um, but then again cushlin he got himself a couple strong anglers himself that, uh, that have a lot of good argument reason why they could do well so we'll see how it pans out and uh, be looking for that. Uh, I'm sure you will see us, uh, you know, sooner or later, somebody's going to be putting that post up there. So any rates, so that's on the, the big time tip there. Now on our fishing level at the more regional level next week, guys, uh, we will be out of the office finally uh, after a, what's feeling like an eternity over the winter here. Uh, we are heading back to Lake of the Ozarks. We are heading to Osage Beach. Um, we'll be launching there with the MLF, BFL, Phoenix Bass Boats, um, uh, Bass Fishing League, uh, stop number one of the Ozark division at Lake of the Ozarks. Um, Toyota Series has been there. Uh, some big names, you know, tournaments have, uh, have been rolling through there already. Uh, it's kind of unknown how this thing's going to set up, man. It looks like it could be a winter bite, could be a pre-spawn bite could be you know who knows what that water temp's going to be doing here over the course of the next week weather systems have been a little goofy but uh, we're ready for it um feel better than we ever have uh, i know i'm probably hexing myself by saying that stuff but this is the first year that we're going to get a chance to fish these things where this is the only thing we do um so our mind is going to be very focused. I mean, obviously, our we're, we got some business in town there that we're going to be working with the Romans Warrior Foundation when we're in town. Um, but at the same note, that's that doesn't feel like work to me. Uh, that's that, that doesn't distract at all. That's just part of why. That's why we do this. So um, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be awesome. A lot of pressure this year. Uh, you know, results they've never meant more to us than they do right now because we know the impact that can have. Uh, on our veteran support services piece and so we're uh, we're definitely gearing up for that and we're we're excited to get it rolling um and like i said uh, i we haven't had the greatest results going to lake of the ozarts but but i love it there um and trying to understand these highland reservoirs it's no joke ask guys that haven't grown up around those and they'll tell you um highland reservoirs they just present different um different uh uh environmental situations and 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 trying to understand where the bass are at at a given time and where they're going to be moving to and trying to predict that movement you know for tournament morning and then throughout the day finding patterns finding patterns within patterns uh that sort of thing and then just overall lake knowledge you know what what does this place do in march you know what does it do in february september you know it's tough to acquire that in you know two or three outings there so this time we're, we're excited. I think we understand it maybe a little better. And, uh, you know, one way we're going to find out if we understand it better or not. So we're, uh, we're going to go in there and it uh, should be a blast. We leave for that. Uh, we should be on scene in Missouri by Wednesday. Um, and then we'll be there and we'll be back in the office here, back to the studio by Monday of the following week. So we'll be out there and you'll be getting plenty of picks from us on the road, uh, from the lake, hopefully a bunch of fish picks that we'll be able to throw up there and, uh, and some good results, uh, uh, pictures. We, we will put the results up regardless of what happens, um, we're, we're in this thing for the long haul. Um, you can't, you can't break us mentally. You can't break our spirit on this. We're, we're in this thing to win it. Um, but we'll take whatever, uh, gets dealt our way based on our, our efforts there. So after that, the next one that we, we have a couple week break, we might try to pick up something locally here, maybe down South in Pueblo reservoir. We may try to fish some of that. Um, I know we've been working hot and heavy and we're going to continue to work on putting these kayaks together. Uh, we'll get into that here in a minute, but we might pick up a local, but the, after that we get to go to a bucket list lake for me, guys. It's, I am so psyched. It's hard not to look ahead to this just because of how many years uh, it's been in my head of, you know, having an opportunity to go down and fish here. And that's at Sam Rayburn Reservoir in Texas. 
Um, it's a long drive. It is going to be a long, long drive to get down there. We'll have to split it up into a couple days. But, man, getting there is going to be amazing. We're actually going to camp at that one. Uh, we'll be sleeping in the pickup. Hopefully the weather uh, uh, doesn't get too crazy for us there. Um, but, yeah, we'll, uh, we're will we going to stay down there and, uh, and get after Sam Rayburn. That's April 2 when we will be there. That's the cowboy division of the, of the Phoenix Bass Boats BFL. So we'll be traveling to that. And then after that, we'll be, uh, we'll be back to, uh, table rock and then we're heading up North. So, uh, exciting, exciting first part of the season, man. Uh, and like I said, we're going to try to pick off uh, some local stuff. And if we can get these things geared out, we'll be getting in some kayak stuff this year. Uh, a lot of fun, good things in the works. All right. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much covers the fishing side of things. Um, you know, it's if, tournament season, so there's, there's, you know, not a ton to report. We'll come back with another version of this, probably another episode, uh, which we'll, we'll uh, recap and we'll catch up on uh, how the classic uh, pans out. That's going on this weekend. Uh, tune in there, best, uh, Bassmaster.com. You'll, you'll catch all that action there. Um, you know, a couple, uh, of course, the all-terrain uh, guys that are up there, Blackfish Gear, any of those guys, there, we, we're all part of that family uh, as well. We love those companies, and so any of the anglers on board there, we wish them the best of luck um, and uh, tight lines for all of those guys. So, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and switch gears here. And, uh, and we do when, uh, when we come back here, we will um, start going over some project updates on what we've got going on. What's happening, guys? Gene Campbell here, True Patriot Outfitters. Look, we just got a new shipment in of NACO tungsten jigs. We all know the reasons why we want to use tungsten jigs. The only reason we have it in the past is because of how expensive that stuff can get. Problem solved. NACO tungsten. Top quality, awesome, awesome prices. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you're not as impressed with these things as we are, send them back to me. We'll fully 100% refund your purchase out there. NACO tungsten jigs right now. We've got them on hand, football and swim jigs. You can start getting a football jig full tungsten for as low as four bucks a piece. Go check us out at truepatriotoutfitters.com. Place your order there. If we don't have it in stock, we'll get it from the warehouse and get it sent to you immediately. Appreciate all the support and love. Tight lines. Be safe, y'all. And welcome back. All right. So let's go over kind of the projects we have in the works here at the true patriot outfitters romans warrior foundation we're gonna i just gonna give you some updates on some of these projects where we're at with them um and then we'll touch on the big one of course that uh, that we if you've been following along with us on social media you saw we took delivery on some some goodness let's see one of the first projects we've had in the works long a uh, long time is benefit tournaments we are looking to host and start to schedule benefit tournaments uh, we want to do these for bass boat we want to do these for kayak uh, for both for shore fishing um, doesn't really matter um, as long as it's public waters that's all that that we're interested in for the most part but we want to give everybody an opportunity to try to support these things the gist on these tournaments is very simple. It'll be a low entry fee. All entry fees will be going towards a designated uh, nonprofit. So one of the nonprofits in our tight knit group, uh, our alliance uh, that we have built right now, um, will be the benefactor of these tournaments here. And we're just going to keep them rolling, man. We're going to we're going to try to fire them off. I'm thinking weekend long, uh, you know, tourneys will run it Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, type deal, maybe a Friday through Monday uh, deal. Um, and we are getting closer to being able to launch that. One of the big pieces, of course, is participants. You need people to enter these. Um, so we've been reaching out. We've had an opportunity to speak with the Denver Bassmasters uh, Club. We've uh, just had an opportunity to go up and meet the Centennial Bassmasters. Uh, so we're reaching out to these groups. Um, we're reaching out to the Colorado um, uh, fishing, uh, the kayak fishing, uh, club. We're reaching out to those guys. Uh, hopefully we should be having an interview actually here on the TPO that'll be coming up, um, uh, where you basically, uh, will have a chance to introduce you to that, to that, uh, very large and awesome group of kayak bass anglers or kayak, all species anglers. Actually, they have several, several divisions from my understanding. Um, so yeah, we're going to be reaching out. Those are the participants. I mean, those are going to be the things that the guys that get us rolling and spread the word about these cool benefit tournaments that we're going to try to throw on. The second piece is of course, we got to put that dangling carrot out there, right? Um, so we're looking for, um, some sponsors that are willing to throw some gift cards up. 
Um, that's kind of what we want to choose to do as opposed to doing cash uh, for these benefit tournaments. We're going to throw gift cards up. This gives an opportunity for sponsors to, to really, uh, you know, provide something that's a little bit easier for them to provide, um, make it a little bit more substantial. And one of the best things it introduces them to the participants, uh, you know, with a gift card, you're going to go uh, partake in either product or service that they offer. So, uh, we are actively looking for those sponsors that are willing to, to, to pony up some stuff for us, say a first through third uh, type deal. So we're, we're more than likely going to work between the two Bassmaster clubs for a couple trial runs just to, to get some things going here and work some, uh, work some kinks out. More than likely we'll be using Tourney X. That seems to be the most universal online management piece. For some of the bass, uh, bass boat guys, this is going to be a little different in that you actually have to take pictures, catch way release, um, or catch photo release. Um, and we don't go off of weight. We go off of, uh, uh, measurement size. So this will be a little different for them. The kayak guys, you're, you're already used to this if you're fishing tourneys. So no big deal there. So that might be the, the better pieces that we started with the kayak guys. And then we'll see if we can expand it into the boat field, uh, to really, you know, bring in more and more folks uh, to this. So that's where we're at with that. We're, we're going to continue to work and try to put those things together nice and easy. One of the big pieces also working with these uh, these clubs is that we are expanding uh, the project we talked about, the Anglers Network. Um, we are getting more and more people that are willing to sign up from this, from recreational enthusiasts, weekend warriors, tournament anglers, all the way to professional anglers uh, or have joined our, our little network. What the Anglers Network is, is very simple. Um, you join our network by simply saying that, yes, if, if an event is going on of some kind that you folks are hosting relatively close to me i'd like to be notified of it so that if the opportunity presents itself i can volunteer my time uh, my boat my kayak um, whatever i can volunteer something to help you put that event on doesn't mean you're going to be expected to obviously life uh, throws you know schedules at us we all have our things we have to take care of that's the advantage of having a larger network is if we have 10 people and we only need two then it makes our, our chances of success of finding some volunteers in that neck of the woods uh, much, much higher. And so the first two that would respond, we would go uh, that direction. And that is basically what the Anglers Network is. We're trying to gather this Anglers Network, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's a lot of uh, competitive fishermen that, that have uh, joined into this so far, um, be it through kayaks or be it through boats or wherever. And this this does help, especially in the boat side, when we can uh, we can get um, uh, an angler showing up to one of our events with their boat. They can take out some of these warriors or heroes with them, uh, you know, for these uh, these retreats or whatever we're doing. So expanding that network is huge. Uh, we've got a few other little spin-off projects from that anglers network that we're going to be exploring but we're going to we're going to first get this one underway we don't want to get the cart before the horses there so to speak so that's coming along if you'd like to get more information about the anglers network or you're interested in joining uh, that email list um, i try to send out an email maybe once a month uh, that'll probably be the most your information is never shared with anyone. It stays with True Patriot Outfitters and Romans Warrior Foundation. And like I said, its sole purpose for that email uh, to have your contact information is to simply alert you uh, when there are things going on in your neck of the woods or just throughout the entire nation. You'll see where it's at. Um, and then you can uh, volunteer from there on your own uh, with us. So other projects we uh, we've had in the works here, our store uh, continues to evolve. We've actually got a new update, a new version we're going to be uh, putting into position here. We're going to, we're changing up some of the relationships we have with some of the vendors just to better suit um, our, our customers. I don't want to slow things up. I want the, the transition to be seamless. If you want to come with us and, uh, you know, in order through us to support our, our mission, we don't, uh, you know, obviously we're selling at the same rate that whatever people are selling, uh, whatever the vendors are selling at their website. So it's not as if there is a huge, uh, you know, a huge big you know, difference there other than the fact that, uh, you know, it, you know, coming through us, if we don't stock it, it could take an extra day or two to get it. Um, and we're trying to find ways to maybe fix that and, and, and look at some drop shipping options and things of that nature, but still earn a small commission for the, for the TPO uh, so that we can uh, continue to have have a source of revenue if you will that helps us when it comes to the various expenses involved with these projects that we're trying to put on um let's see here 
And yeah, let's get right to it, man. The big project, the kayak fishing. Um, just want to give you a quick line of this. As, as you've seen on my social media in the past, we were working with heroes on the water. Um, we will still uh, obviously direct people to heroes on the water, uh, uh, dot org. I think it's a great and fantastic organization for whatever reason. Um, they just don't have a Colorado chapter here. So we were working diligently to try to find them some volunteers to start a chapter here. And for lack of better terms and just getting straight to the point, we were very unsuccessful, um, for, for whatever reason, just could not find anybody that was will, willing to step forward. We needed about four people. I mean, we even considered doing it, you know, I considered, you know, joining them as well, you know, in looking at that. But at the end of the day, we were unsuccessful in f- helping find volunteers there. Uh, Heroes on the Water is a large nonprofit. There are some 50 plus, uh, you know, chapters across the U.S. I mean, it's not as if they're going anywhere. And eventually they're going to find some folks here in Colorado to get them rolling. And that's that's fantastic. The ultimate goal was to bring kayak fishing to veterans, first responders, and Gold Star families. Well, as as luck would have it, we connected with the right people. And as you saw, we made the announcement, Romans Warrior Foundation, True Patriot Outfitters, we have joined forces with um, New Canoe. Uh, as a, as a company and true Patriot outfitters is going to be working directly with their dealer here in the state, which is the Rocky mountain uh, fishing kayaks. So Romans warrior, new canoe, true Patriot outfitters with Rocky mountain fishing kayaks. It's going to, it's exciting, man. Um, this is going to really open doors for us, um, that we didn't have open before. We're hoping to really give them some good exposure. Um, you know, showing this company for who it is. I, I, I spoke one-on-one with the owner of new canoe, Blake young. Um, what an awesome, awesome individual. Uh, I, I shared our mission with him, his response, um, like the, the other folks that have jumped on board said, yeah, we want a piece of this. What can we do? And so we, we started working. We're hoping to evolve that over the future and we'll see it grow uh, from there. But as it stands, we are working with new canoe. And as a sign of that, we received our first shipment. Our, our mini fleet of kayaks has arrived. It is the unlimited model, which is the flagship model for um, the new flagship model, if you will, for new canoe. It is an amazing boat, uh, very, very stable, nice wide platform on it, very customizable. You can paddle this thing, you can pedal it with the pivot drive system, or you can hook uh, a, a motor to it as well and run uh, run a trolling motor off of this thing. Very versatile, um, uh, great size, lots of equipment, very functional, uh, and just, a, just an all-around great, great fishing kayak. And so we've got four of those on hand. And we are looking to get those outfitted as we speak. That's our next piece is getting the basic fundamental pieces in play. And then one of those will be, uh, of course, our our fishing uh, kayak that we'll probably be competing with for the purpose of uh, raising money for Romans and so forth. So any rate, um, yeah, then we've got that thing here. We're working on getting a trailer. That's another one of the big things that we're trying to piece together. We want to use a cargo trailer for that just because uh, safety, it'll take care of the gear better, it'll last longer. And we have a lot of stuff that we want to put together for these for these events. The Romans Warrior Foundation is about, you know, we are we're a, a two-pronged approach really. Well, three, but two-pronged. And the, number one, we facilitate bringing the, um, the Wall of Remembrance, the Global War on Terror's Wall of Remembrance. We facilitate the mobility and deployment of that around the nation. Number two, we provide recreational therapy services such as hunting, fishing, retreats, camping, you know, you name it. Um, that's, uh, we try to provide that as a service, uh, to veterans, first responders, their families and gold star families. Um, the third of course is just all around general helping. Uh, if, if you are a veteran, if you're a first responder, if you're a gold star family and you need anything, we don't care what it is. If you need anything, you call us, uh, hit the Romans warrior foundation. We're here. We're, uh, we're always here for you regardless time of day. Doesn't matter. Call us if you need us, uh, get a hold of us, and we will be there uh, one way or another. We'll figure something out. And so those three pieces, you know, all coming together here, we realized that working that deal out with New Canoe that it was like, you know what? We'll do it ourselves. We're, we're going we're gonna to partner with our awesome alliance uh, of our other nonprofits, and we're going we're gonna to partner together uh, with them. And that brings us 
to uh, the next section, uh, which we will get launched here after this real quick short break. Uh, we'll come back and we're going to talk about all the nonprofit partners we have out there. Hang tight, come back and join us here in just a few minutes. And welcome back. All right, so here we are. We're here to talk about our partners. You know, when we first started the True Patriot Outfitters, uh, first uh, version was GC Fishing LLC, G Campbell Fishing. It's all the same company. It's DBA'd. Um, we knew that we wanted to work with a, a select few number, right? Um, the purpose of that was to be careful to not and spread ourselves too thin. We wanted to make sure that whatever services we were providing, they would be at the, uh, at the top of what we're capable of providing, the most attentive, to always make good on what we say, to meet our schedules, um, and not spread ourselves too thin. So we knew there was going to be a select number. As things would have and as things have evolved, and now we're locking shields with, and now I'm a part of Roman's Warrior Foundation, a proud, uh, proud family member of, of that group. Um, we, when Brian and I were speaking, it was one of the things that I wanted to absolutely maintain was that cohesiveness with the other nonprofits. And Brian's response to me was just another one of the reasons I knew this was the, the, the thing that needed to happen is that his response was, I would absolutely expect nothing else. Brian, you know, Romans, when he founded this, he, he is not an egomaniac. This is not a guy that, that thinks we know better than anybody. He has, you know, one objective, and that is serving others. And that's what we all at the Romans Warrior Foundation believe in. We believe in that mantra. We believe in that philosophy. We're here to serve, and we want to find ways to do so. The beauty of this little alliance that we formed here in Colorado that can serve, you know, across the nation is that uh, each one of us have kind of our own specialty area. So nobody's really walking over each other. Um, and I'll tell you, if you want to see this evident, you're going to have an opportunity at Shields, Johnstown, Colorado in November of 2022. Um, that's all I'm going to say right now, because we're going to wait uh, to make the official announcement, but I'm telling you something big is coming. Um, and a lot of us are all going to be on, uh, on display there where you have an opportunity to come meet this amazing group of people that I've been blessed with, with meeting, working with, and, uh, and, and yeah, just sharing in, uh, in like goals. But when you look at what we all do, you know, let's, you know, we, we look at the, the little network that we have of nonprofits that I'm working with now, now we will work with and help any legitimate nonprofit that is providing services to veterans, first responders, and Gold Star families. Um, if you are providing a service and you're a legitimate nonprofit um, and you want to partner with us to do an event or something, we're, we are always looking for, for opportunities to serve more veterans, more first responders, more Gold Star families. So if, if that is there, we're always open to that. But we do have our small network of trusted, reliable partners that we plan on doing a lot of joint effort, uh, cooperation and collaboration uh, events with, you know, starting first and foremost, equine rescue, equine related uh, therapeutic services, uh, recreational therapy services with, uh, you know, obviously with uh, with horses, the Allegiance Ranch and Rescue. Um, Dan and Gloria over there in that entire ranch volunteer community. Amazing, amazing people. We love them to death. Love what they're doing over there. Um, haven't been able to get over there very much at all in the last three, four weeks, just as the schedule would have it. But uh, nevertheless, we're looking forward to a 2022 year helping them where we can. Um, they got their big, the big event for them is the hoedown in July. Um, the Horses and Heroes Hoedown. Um, if you're in this neck of the woods, if you plan on visiting Colorado, plan around July 23rd range and come out to that hoedown. Come and check it out. You can pick up tickets. They're inexpensive. Uh, huge, huge family uh, fun here for everybody involved. Live music, um, tour the ranch, meet uh, meet all kinds of cool people. We will be there on hand um, chatting away and talking with folks. Uh, the silent auction is going to be uh, super awesome. 
great, great food uh, that is served out there. Uh, you can't go wrong. Um, and all these proceeds go to help the ranch and uh, kind of, you know, set it up. This is one of the best ways they connect with the community. One of their best fundraisers all year. Um, and it is a ton of fun. Uh, so definitely save that. The ranch, they work, uh, like I said, they do horse rescue. Then those horses uh, then provide those therapeutic services in friendship and uh, and just working together utility-wise with uh, with veterans um, and first responders uh, and, and their families. Seeing that, you know, that, that little circle like that of, of, of watching the healing that's happening for everybody there is, is just, it's staggering. They partner with Operation Equine for those cases where we, you know, could use a little bit more uh, medical uh, science, you know, support in, in some cases. Operation Equine's on hand to, uh, to assist in those areas as well. And uh, that, you know, that is their area, man. That's what they do. Uh, and so we work with them uh, on any uh, of, of, of the services out there where that can be uh, of benefit uh, to, the, to the warriors and heroes we work with. And then, of course, you have the Warrior Bonfire Program. Um, but the Bonfire Program is designed for pure healing. I mean, they primarily work with Purple Heart Combat Wounded uh, Veterans um, and their families. And they have retreats across the country from hunting, fishing, retreat style, getaway, couples only, uh, you name it. Uh, they have these services that they put together for, for, uh, families and uh, for these warriors, uh, to actually connect, reconnect, find healing, find that camaraderie, uh, with each other. Uh, and then of course, with the services that are provided, um, the warrior bonfire is a, is a fantastic organization, uh, Lieutenant Colonel retired, uh, Mike Foss, uh, and then Miss Helen Phillips, they run an awesome, awesome ship there. And that's, that's their specialty, right? I mean, they put those type of retreat style getaways across the country. They know how to work these logistics out, how to get people from a, you know, from across America over to another location there. They have, they have their connections to do those things. Um, and then we, of course, we have, uh, uh the Wolfpack support services, which is a little bit more local. They primarily are focused, um, with the first responder and healthcare workers here in Colorado, that area, they do have the ability to stretch out further than that, but their, their primary focus would definitely be here, but that's, these are the first responders we're talking about. These are the healthcare workers, these, you know, any, any one of these workers dealing with, you know, mental health, uh, challenges, you know, stress, anxiety, depression, uh, you name it. Uh, they're go when they're going through that, the Wolfpack Support Service is there. It's a great resource uh, that can connect these these local heroes and uh, and help them. And so that's you know their specialty piece. And then there's the Roman Warrior Foundation. Our specialty, as I've said before, is the deployment um, and uh, the mobility piece, if you will, of the uh, Global War on Terror's Wall of Remembrance. We facilitate getting that. Uh, beautiful and life-changing monument. Uh, you have to experience the wall. If you've not, you have to find out the next place we're going to be, have a, uh, have a, a half a day trip, come on out and experience that and, and check it out uh, with us there. We'd love to see you there. Um, but we facilitate getting that around the country. I mean, we take that literally from California to, you know, to Kentucky, uh, and even further East. Um, that is, uh, that is one of the main areas, but we also specialize now as a major, a major piece of this is recreational therapy activities. Um, fishing being our first and foremost, we always truly, uh, assist with that. Um, that's a lot of the work we do at the true Patriot outfitters is providing that network. And that's why we ran all of our veteran support service stuff now through Romans warrior foundation. Um, the other pieces is, is, you know, mini type retreats, the, the hunting, the camping, the hiking, uh, kayak fishing. These are the things that we want to provide in there. So as you can see, everybody kind of has their own specialty area. And this is what makes our alliance and this little work, uh, working relationship we have with in collaborating with these other nonprofits so valuable, um, you know, that when, when people want to support this, they can support their favorite areas of these things. And it doesn't matter who they're supporting there. At the end of the day, all of us are looking at the same mission in mind. All of us have the same goal, the same people we want to serve out there. And we can just, we just do it in different ways. 
And uh, some, you know, will attract more to the equine side. Some will attract more to the kayak side. Some just want to get out and fish. Some uh, would rather take a take a trip and get away for more of a um, and, and connect with other like minded individuals that have experienced things like they have. So the bonfires there, um, you know, lo- local sidewise here where maybe it's it's not uh, a lot of that. Maybe they just need to talk with somebody here. They're a health care worker that's been going through. I mean, you look at the, the huge fires we just had out here. The first responders did an incredible job of, of protecting property, protecting life, uh, making sure the rest of us were able to get back to a sense of normalcy and get the resources we need. These first responders went off, off, the, off the charts on how, how they were able to respond to that, uh, that huge, huge impacting uh, event that took place here. You know that comes with a price tag, right? Um, and if you don't know that, pay attention more watch our, sh- our our podcast here listen to our podcast we'll teach you about that um well these first responders and and so forth are out there doing this work and protecting you um or you don't ever see them but things are coming back to normal uh for you that comes with a price and it's those folks and their families that are paying that price that's why we do what we do. That's why we work with Wolfpack Support Services. That's why we work with, you know, the ranch, Operation Equine, Warrior Bonfire. There's a reason why we do this is because we understand these things. We've seen these things. The entire family serves. We know that. We've been taught that. And we want to help try to to bridge these gaps and help some healing where we can. So um, as you can tell, I am super stoked, still, still very proud to work with every one of these guys. We're going to continue to do so. Hopefully we'll be able to announce some cool events coming up shortly, um, where you'll see little partnerships like this, where we join forces with, uh, we collaborate with, uh, to bring you this event or that event. Um, and we're just going to keep on rolling down through it next up beyond the nonprofits and our partners. We're going to talk about, um, three specific organizations, uh, that have gone above and beyond um, to help us put this together. There are several more beyond this, but we're just going to focus on three that I want to I want to bring to your attention. Um, just because if, at the Outfitters here, man, that's I mean we're a for-profit organization, and when we work with companies like this that support nonprofits, that's a huge huge deal, dude. And that you need to know about those companies in your community. Um, like I said before, it's so easy. All we hear is the bad stuff. It's awesome to hear the good stuff. And we're going to share that with you. So we're going to step away for just a second and then we'll be right back. And welcome back. Here we are, the True Patriot Outfitters podcast. We're getting ready to talk. I want to do what we call sponsor spotlight. Now, sponsor doesn't necessarily mean that they've donated um, things, M- meaning sponsors the way we consider it are donators, but they're also people that go above and beyond to take special time with us to understand our mission, to help us understand and and get a truly, truly high grade quality product. And they understand, you know, that we are a nonprofit and what we're up against. But at the same regard, we also know that we're, you know, to have long lasting relationships with people, um, these businesses need to stay in, in, in business. I mean, they're there to, they have bills to pay. And so we, we respect that. We know that. So it's important that you know that now in some cases, some of our, our sponsors and, and donors, uh, donators have donated a product or have donated time and things of that nature. But more specifically, it's the companies that we work with that just go above and beyond. First one that I want to bring right up to, to speed here from the true Patriot outfitters. This is a company that we have hired. We have uh, uh, we've paid uh, to have a lot of work done for us uh, in areas. And they just, he just continues to go above and beyond uh, in providing the things we need. And that is Rob Burt Designs. <clears throat> Rob Burt Designs is the mastermind that's been behind the GC Fishing logo, the True Patriot Outfitters logo, uh, a lot of the graphic concept art uh, that that we've utilized in a lot of our apparel, um, the the concept art for our truck uh, as it's wrapped is all from the mind of of Robert Designs. You want to have a designer that is not just about art, okay? And I want you to understand something. I'm not diminishing the artistic ability. Uh, in its value, 
But what I'm speaking to specifically is you need to have that along with an understanding of business. I'm going to give you an example of this. Look through any of the professional anglers boat wraps that are out there on any circuit. Bass, MLF, Bass Pro Tour, doesn't matter. And you will find out of a group of five, you will find at least two, possibly three of those in there. And I'm going to be the guy to say this that are horribly wrapped for a marketing plan. Do they look cool? Damn right they do. I mean, just about every one of them. There's occasionally where you make, you scratch your head wondering what a guy was thinking when he, when he wrapped his truck a certain way, but no, these designs look super cool. And what you remember is a super cool look, but what you don't remember is the name of the companies that were on there. You need to have a graphic design company when you're doing branding or when you're working on uh, your business, you need to have somebody that, that understands you have a limited time to make an impression and you need to make sure that whatever your logo is, that it represents something you're proud of displaying and that it represents your company, the philosophy, something to go with it. And that I, you know, I'm going to save, I'm, we're not going to get that. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole too far. I I think we might end up doing one of those later, or if any one of you listening would like to have a discussion in these areas, I'd be glad to, uh, to share some knowledge with you in this area. But this is one of the major aspects in marketing, um, and in business that people miss is they want, they want something that looks cool. You know, they basically want a, a truck tattoo or they want a logo tattoo, Problem is, it doesn't have anything to do with their company, with what they're trying to do, or more importantly, you get lost in the design, or maybe it's, you know, you have 72 logos all mashed together, and by the time someone looks at it and gets that first 10, 15 seconds of a look, they they turn away, they remember a cool design, but they don't remember a company. I mean, what's, what is the purpose of the wrapping? What's the purpose of the logo and the design and all these things? It's for marketing. It's, it's to get your business out there. Rob Burt Designs, since from day one, has, has taught us, the, you know, so many different things about, about the graphic design side of things. Um, his abilities uh, go, go off a, a measured chart, in my personal opinion, you look at the guy's resume, you look at his portfolio that's out there, you name the medium, he's, he's handled it, messed with it, done, does it, mastered it. Um, I'm just saying right now, if you're looking for, for a company that uh, you need some help with logo work, you need some help with design work, you're looking for, for unique art, uh, you want to hire for a commission, check out robertdesigns.com. Uh, uh, go out there and, and check them out. They have been phenomenal with us. Uh, we're very proud of the work that they've done for us. Um, and it has been very effective. It's been received well. We get lots of compliments on this stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, we've, we've been, that was one of those smart decision pieces of working with them. So check them out there. Rob Burt of Rob Burt Designs. Another company that we're spotlighting here um, vicious fishing, give a small story. I've been involved with vicious fishing for several years. Last year, I went dormant with them, to be honest with you. Um, last year was a goofy year for us. We were moving. We couldn't do a full tournament schedule. There was a lot of unknowns. What was going to happen when we got here to Colorado? So they were one of the companies that we didn't, you know, cut ties with. I kept, I still have vicious fishing line. I was still using it. But we just didn't do a lot of marketing with them uh, for last year. And, uh, and that was just because, like I said, we just didn't, uh, we didn't really have a real clear picture of how that last year was going to roll out <clears throat> with us, uh, with the move and uh, deciding whether or not to go all in on this or not. So we went kind of dormant there for about a year. And coming back around as the season was approaching, they were one of the companies that, you know, we kept watching them online, kept watching what they're doing. They're, they're steadily, uh, you know, just continuing steady work. They were not one of the companies that got caught up in the big mishmash of all the, you know, um, 
you know, issues out there where companies just didn't have any product left. Somehow Vicious was still doing it. And at least to the forward facing public, man, it's like, this is, this is pretty impressive stuff. You know what we got going on there. So we reached out and we, now that our game was, you know, upped and we were doing something at a much higher level, we wanted to obviously take our relationship with Vicious to another level. I had the opportunity, the pleasure of speaking with Greg, the, the, the owner of Vicious Fishing, and I got to learn the Vicious story a lot better, understand their company uh, from the ground up and understand the backbone of this company and its family roots, its faith roots, um, and their dedication to their customers. And I'm telling you right now, I would tell you this uh, the same as if, if I were you know, working with them or not working with them. This company is impressive. Folks, I'm telling you, they worked their tails off. If you think owning a small business is, uh, you know, just all, all puppy dogs and butterflies, think again. These folks committed to making sure their customers were going to receive product. Um, we had stories, uh, and we're going to get Greg on here eventually. We're going to get him on the True Patriot Outfitters podcast. We'll do an interview with him. But the stories that they'll tell you about how they kept their orders flowing there is just inspiring to say the least the second most impressive piece you know that come out of this was his response to me throwing my elevator pitch at him um told him who we were what we were doing uh, this was before i even joined forces with romans uh, romans was another one of my nonprofits that i was working with at the time um and we made a pitch told him what our mission was what we wanted to do and greg's response is yes we went in. Well, well, this is what we'll do. And he threw out an offer to us right out the gates that was extremely generous, very, uh, uh, very in line with what we were looking for, what could help us put equipment in the hands of our, our uh, the warriors and the heroes that we were going to be working with. That's what we were looking to do uh, was to be able to supply them with things and vicious step right up, man. Um, they made it possible for us to get going and get off the ground. We're looking forward to a long, long relationship with them and expanding on this as we go as well. Now, especially now that uh, we're, we're uh, lock shields with Romans. And uh, we think this could be a, a really cool thing there. Um, and I can tell you for the competitive fishing side, GC Fishing, True Patriot Outfitters, we are decked. Every one of the reels we have in here loaded with vicious fishing, fluorocarbon braid, no fade braid. Um, we actually got some of that Japanese Tora that they have, their, their new high-end product. We got some of that we've spooled up, so we're excited to roll that out. Um, should be an awesome, awesome year. So Vicious Fishing, organization that believes in uh, taking care of those around them, uh, family-oriented, believes in their customers, and will will jump through hoops to take care of their customers. And, you know, not for nothing, awesome fishing line that I trust uh, when, when you know, uh, money's on the line, results are on the line, uh, and I'm not alone. There's a lot of pros out there that are trusting uh, in Vicious and a lot of customers out there that are very happy with them. Suggest you give them a check. Get Vicious uh, or ViciousFishing.com. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. This brings us to the final company in our little spotlight here. And this is Shields, Colorado, specifically Shields, Johnstown, Colorado. That team, uh, I'm not going to get into a long drawn out piece, but what I want you to understand from the True Patriot Outfitter said, I've been approaching and working with them since last year. As a for-profit organization, that makes it kind of difficult for some organ some companies to be able to do uh, as much as what they can do with nonprofits for obvious reasons. But I'll tell you what, these guys have wanted to work with us from day one. And what's been most impressive about this organization is the way they want to be cautious in how they approach other organizations they work with. It has not been a, Hey, come on in and we're just going to load you up and here you go and have fun. No, no, no. They've been watching me very closely. And because of that, professionally speaking, I gained more respect for them on how they approach things because at the same time they've been doing that, you look at what this organization does for the nonprofits and community services in their local areas. You look around the country at what Shields as a, as a company does in its local areas. And I'll tell you what, you're going to be hard pressed to find another major company in those areas that does more or gives back more or finds ways to contribute and help and educate and engage the outdoors and sports in, in general and bring that to the community. 
from their monetary donations to their equipment donations to their courses, the information they offer, the educational opportunities they put up, um, and their partnerships working, bringing events to their local markets. Um, folks, I'm telling you right now, uh, if, if you've noticed, you know, that maybe a certain item maybe cost a buck or two more, um, I'll tell you what, there's a solid reason why, and that is money well spent. Check them out because in most cases they're as competitive as anybody else out there on the pricing piece. Um, but when it boils down to it, man, you want to shop at companies that take care of your local community. Don't let the size of shields fool you for outdoor equipment, uh, sport items, you name it. Uh, and engaging the outdoors, this is a big company that believes in its local communities and gives back to its local communities in every way they possibly can. Um, and we, I, I'm telling you right now, without them, we wouldn't be, you know, getting to where we're at right now. One of the major areas uh, that they have done for uh, for the True Patriot Outfitters is, is they are donating to us rod and rail combo sets and good ones like a Fluger reel, uh, the Shields Outfitters uh, uh, rod, and we are each for each one of these uh, heroes that we're going to be taking out on these uh, fishing excursions, be it kayak or in a boat or whatever, uh, we're going to be able to get uh, some equipment in their hands. And Shields is making that possible. Uh, Shields and Vicious together, um, they're making that possible that we're going to put some tackle in their hands, get some gear. Um, we just got a few more items we need to figure out. A good tackle bag will be the next piece that we're trying to trying to get together with this. But it's it Shields uh, getting behind us with this. I can tell you also, I'm proud to say we've got some things in the works with Shields that are going to be off the chain, man. It is going to be a ton of cool stuff coming down the pipe here. Um, hoping to be able to work with their fishing team on some cool things. We get some cool digital media with the Shields fishing team out there. And then, of course, on the on the uh, community service piece, we got some cool things in the work there. Um, if we get things done properly here, we should have an interview coming up here soon with Shields, uh, where we can speak with Caitlin Wells, who is the, um, the, the main person in charge of their community outreach, uh, in the, in the area in Johnstown up there. So, um, be sticking with us here. These are just three companies, Robert Designs, Vicious Fishing and Shields, Johnstown, Colorado, that without their work, without their support, we would not be where we're at this fast, um, this brings us to the end of this podcast. And I just, I, to fully grasp where we're at right now, officially speaking, we didn't open our doors technically to like August 1, July 31st of last year of 2021. We had just been in the state a couple months, just moved into our new home two weeks prior. Um, and we got the ball rolling. Um, through my wife's amazing uh, uh, support and encouragement and coaching, we were able to take that leap of faith and get after this um, from our side. And then these organizations, you look at how far we've come and what we have been able to put together in such a short period of time. It is mind blowing uh, how fast this is taking off. Um, we're trying to be very cautious about that and be very careful about that. We have our mind and our goals focused on the mission at hand, which is serving others. Uh, we believe we've made the right strategic moves with the right organizations and to be positioned where we're at. And, and we'll continue to try to, to grow those and stay open-minded to, to all opportunities that uh, present themselves with that sole purpose of serving our veterans, our first responders, and Gold Star families. That is where we're at. Along the way, we know the benefits that successful uh, competitions are going to provide, um, not just from the winnings aspect, but more importantly, from the exposure piece. And this brings us, you know, to that to that deal there. Um, the on the social media side, those likes and follows uh, that you give us out there. The way the algorithms work with social media nowadays, it is you literally, if you understand it, then um, you're further ahead than, than, you know, 98% of the people out there because trying to understand these algorithms on how our posts show up in certain feeds and they don't show up in other feeds, who knows? But what we do know is that the interaction, the comments, the likes, the shares, the uh, subscribes, uh, the follows, those things are so vitally, vitally important. And, and so 
All we continue to do is keep asking folks, please like the post, please share the post, please get one of your friends to like and follow our page, Uh, subscribe on YouTube, you know, whatever the case may be. These are all huge benefiting pieces because it just increases the audience and increases our chances to, to provide bigger exposure for the nonprofits, reach more veterans, reach more potential sponsors, um, uh, you know, and, and just be able to just continue to drive uh, this message home uh, that we are here to help. And that is exactly what we're looking at. So if we keep going in that direction, then uh, then good things will be coming down there. One of the bigger pieces we also have in this is our store is going to be getting an uplift. Um, we're going to do a little facelift to the store here, specifically just our categories and how we have stuff. We want to be able to provide all the fishing, vicious fishing products. Right now, you can use a code of, uh, that we provide out there, um, and you'll get you 10% off. Plus, it'll get us a small commission when you use this code. Um, we have a special discount code for veterans that work uh, work with us or work through one of our one of our partners here. Um, reach out to me on that one, and I will get that. We don't we don't publish that one out there. Um, but this, I'm telling you, this one's a huge, phenomenal discount through Vicious Fishing uh, for our veterans and first responders uh, that are out there that work with us. And so uh, reach out to me there and we'll get you connected with that. Um, we also want to with NACO. NACO has been uh, working tirelessly to find new ways uh, to continue to help with. I got to tell you, man, um, I, I am blown away by the quality of these products every uh, time we, we see a new product come from them. You're expecting at those prices, you're expecting something less and it turns out to be awesome. So we're, we're, we're rerouting on how we want to be able to offer all of those products as well through the site. Um, and so we're, we're really working on that hard and we'll have that update tackle HD. Um, uh, we still are a dealer for them. We still have their products up there. We still rely on them. You're going to see them on the deck of my boat. Uh, we're actually going to get a chance to finally use those. I'm going to partner that high def crawl with the new NACO football jig. Dude, I have a feeling that is just going to be deadly. And I'm hoping I can put a bunch of good bucket heads up on, uh, up on Facebook and Instagram for you to, to take a gawk at on, on our pictures based on that little wicked combo. So, um, stick with us guys. Uh, you know, a lot of cool stuff coming down here. Uh, we're going to have another edition, the red crest, uh, preview. We'll have a little Bassmaster classic recap, see how things go down. Um, and then of course we'll have some tournament recap here before we head off to Sam Rayburn. We'll get you caught up on what happens at Lake of the Ozarks, all that good stuff. And as always be watching our channels, like follow, share all that stuff. I'm telling you, it is a huge, huge deal. If you know of companies out there that have committees that are looking for ways they can help um, a very deserving portion of your local community, reach out to me, man. Give me some contact information. Give them our information, Romans Warrior Foundation, True Patriot Outfitters. Uh, Let us know. We want to do good, and we can do this the more more people we work with um, just allows us to do that. So, As always, folks, huge, huge thanks. Much love to all of you guys. Stay healthy out there. Be kind to each other. All that good stuff. Above all, tight lines and be safe.